Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. I'm going to talk about auction, uh, ticker symbol OCGN. Uh, I'm going to talk on a little bit on the, the news that came out today, great news came out today actually, and uh, some insight of buying on I3, uh, I3G filings, uh, the owners buying, and some sh shorts, what's the short percentage going on, and very, very important key level. So let's go. Let's talk about it. I'm excited about this talk very, very much. So the news that came out today, the OCGN jumps after the recruiting Julian Hollister as a manufacturing partner for COVID vaccine. That's a phenomenal news, right? Julian Hollister spokesman in Washington is, is a manufacturing partner for COVID-19 vaccine catering at Coxin for, for U.S. and Canada markets. Securing U.S based manufacturing capability is a critical step as we prepare to submit our submission to FDA and Health Canada, said J.P. Grable, the Oxygen Senior Vice President of Manufacturing and Supply. That's massive, right? So once you have these partners are involved, so to in order to prepare for the vaccine, that's massive, massive news for the company in order to to recruit children hosta as a manufacturing partner for the COVID-19 vaccine candidate. It's, it's exciting news, folks. Very exciting news. Um, so apart from the news, I'm going to share with you guys some of the other key technical that I wanted to share, right? With you guys, some inside buying by the company. Um, I'm going to zoom it a little bit for you guys to see it. Uh, you'll see that on June 8th, Shankar, the executive CEO, but you know, uh, upside option exercise uh, for the um, four thousand four hundred twenty eight thousand, right? He bought the option for the sale of the uh, also for four hundred six thousand. So there's a lot of the CEOs, the directors, right, the vice presidents, right. Everybody has been buying it constantly uh, in the from the May to the June area, right. Um, granted, we are in July, right. Uh, but this is something um, I wanted to share with you guys. Like they have been buying it in order to, to see the stock price to go up to a different level, right? Because they know what's coming in for the stock. Uh, and the short sale, right? The shorts. We This is what driving our price down, folks. We have 23.55% as a short, right? Uh, so yeah, twenty three point five percent a short float. That's a quite a lot, right? Usually, is, <coughs> excuse me. Usually the number is between fifteen percent, right? Uh, but right now we're seeing a twenty three percent. This is what driving a little bit a push for the stock to close to be above between a between nine to eleven dollar range where we used to saw it, saw it in past couple of months right so that's something we need to keep an eye the shorts have increased a uh, float of 25 23.55 uh, percent um that's going to driving the stock around so today let's talk about today how we do today we still have about half an hour left for the market to close pre-market we are roughly at six dollars and twelve cents we, when the news came broke off we came and tested this key level time and time i've been talking about this huge resistance uh, we've been talking about seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. We got re rejected in the pre-market. We opened up today at seven dollars and four cents. We, we came and then tested again. We went. We came close to go tested seven dollars and thirty-five cents, folks. We went high of seven dollars thirty-five cents, and I've been talking about this resistance for so long. And we came close. Didn't hold it. We. we kind of on the downtrend throughout the day. Uh, right now is about $6.36. It's about half an hour left for the market to close. Let's go back. Let's talk about what the heck is going, right? What the heck? So we talked about this resistance right here. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go change it as our new color to a new resistance. Um, that will be our new resistance that we need to keep an eye on, right? So, on the the pink line on my screen is a 200-day moving uh, average. 
this and there we are trading below it right on the one year one day chart uh, and then for over 60 day we are trading we are above our 60 day and our 20, 200, uh, 20 day we are above on that uh, RSI is still is over uh, oversold right now so that we might see a potential reverse over right on my previous video I did mention it once we were up here I said we might come back and test it this five dollar level of 32 cents and we break off for creating another higher has to making a double bottom right to have a double bottom in order to make a higher highs based on the technical side I'm gonna go back to our three months you know and we were looking at this so close right time and time like we came the low of four dollars and seventy three cents but we came and closed up higher but time and time what once we every time we touch that five dollar thirty two cents, we always bounce up, which we did, and we're gonna go test this level, folks. We broke out at seven dollars and forty six cents. The next resistance that I'll be keeping it very close eye now will be at seven eight dollars and forty eight dollars and seventy one cents. Right, eight dollars and seventy one cents is the level previously acted as a resistance. Right. Yes, this is a this is a sell off that none of us wants to see, right? I'm, I'm going going back to one four six months to four hour chart. Like we every time we push high, we get rejected around that sixteen dollar level all time high. Sorry, uh, eighteen dollars and seventy seven cents, and then we've been trying to break out in each level, and we've been failing it from now. The reason being that shorts that we have a massive shorts going on. Uh, you know, and then that is the um, that is what was driving the stock price down right now. Also, right, the shorts are in control right now, but it won't be too long, right? It won't be too long. We're gonna see uh, some sign of sign of life, right? The MACD showing a sign of green. The little bit buyers are stepping in. RSI is still below, so this is good. This is all indications for an uptrend, and I really wanted to see we get tested over here, and then we go try it. Out. But we go came over here. We actually is a huge support for folks. The buyers are sitting over here at five dollar and thirty two cents, five dollars and fifty cents range around there to jump in if it drops again, right? I can see it come back and test it. Unfortunately, I can see it come back and test it again, and then create a higher highs of five dollars and six cents. So all these good news are factoring in, but we're not seeing the stock price going up, right? But once it gets priced in, folks you will see it will be back up high around a 13 to 14 dollar level which we are bound to see it right so just bear in mind we might test it or fail to break the seven dollars and 38 cents we might come back we'll come back and get retested five dollars and 32 cents to create a higher highs uh which is all going to depend how how the buyer steps in right but we all know there's a lot of supply and the demand is over here right the demand is right over here at five dollars and 32 cents and um, let's talk about the moving average on the six months and four hour like we are trading below our moving average like of 20, 22 20 day moving average 60 day and um over 200 day it is a all sign pointing for a bear market right now for the ogcn unfortunately this is the fact that I can see right now, right? But this is could be this is a buy loading zone, right? This is the key L you need to keep an eye. Uh, if you want to load up, you want to get more shares on OCGN. I will I will be doing it. I've done it. I'm gonna keep adding it uh, at a discounted price. That's all I can say. This is all the discounted price you can see right now in order to get in. There's a great news for this company like today, partnership with uh, Jolster. Uh, manufacturing company today you know this is all the sign of getting the approval for the COVID vaccine for the US market and the Canada market well folks thank you for watching the video uh, once again uh, please don't forget to subscribe smash the like button comment down below uh, what are your key uh, what are you what do you think about this OCC and like I love to hear it uh, and you know what, what, what's your thought process you, you know is there any technical analysis you want me to do on OCGN what's your what do you any questions you know I can answer on the comment will be highly appreciated I, I will do my level best to answer all the comments so far I've been answering all the comments so if I miss you my apologies but my goal is to answer each one of you guys any questions you have on OCGN 
on the comment section. Well, folks, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, let's don't forget we need to keep an eye. We need to break out that seven dollars and thirty-five cents as a resistance and five dollars and thirty-two cents as our support. Thank you uh, and have a good day.